So today I wanted to do my first ever favorites video and I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be mostly skincare. Actually, it is all skincare, but it really is stuff that I've been loving for this month and a little bit of the last month. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, also, I always post on Instagram like products that I'm loving and um, like I post like little tidbits of everything about the products and what I think and how I feel and why I love them. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting favorites and products and new stuff that I'm purchasing. So yeah, make sure you're following me on Instagram. And you know what? Let's get started. So first item I'm gonna be talking about is a cleanser. And this one is from Ren. It's called the Clearcom 3 Clarifying Clay Cleanser. This is what it looks like. Let's see if this guy will focus. Yep, so that's what it looks like. And this one is for blemish prone skin, but what I really love about it, it's not your regular clay cleanser. Normally, any other clay cleanser that I've used, whenever I wash my face afterwards, my skin feels very dry and very tight, which I don't like. I don't like that, like hard to smile clean. I don't like that. And with this clay cleanser, I don't get that at all. I never feel that my skin is dried out. This also has helped me it's cleared up my skin really really nicely to the point where I've had like some like texture underneath my skin and it's this has helped clear it up so I'm really loving this product I think it's awesome for all skin types even if you have dry skin because it really does not dry your skin out at all if anything I always feel like maybe even like a little bit plump afterwards like this stuff is great love it um, the next thing is going to be this La Roche Posay. Hope I'm saying that right. And it's the thermal spring water. So this is just here. This is what it looks like. And you could get this from any Dwayne Reed or online or CVS. I think now carries it. But it just has a little like spray pump thing. And it's just like a fine mist that comes out. Let's see if the camera will catch it. Yeah, did you see that? It's really, it's literally like the drink, a drink of water for your skin. I apply this before I do my makeup and sometimes I use it after I'm done with my makeup, almost comparable to like the MAC Fix Plus where it just kind of melts all the powders and makes my makeup look like second skin. This is great for anyone with dry skin or anybody that feels like they're dehydrated. It says it's a natural antioxidant and soothes, soothes and softens. So it's really great, I love it. It wasn't even really that pricey. I think it was like $12 where, and you get a lot more product in this than you do the Fix Plus. I'm gonna assume that the Fix Plus is more than $12, but I could be wrong. I'll check on that and I'll leave it in the description box. Okay, next guy is also from Ren, and it's the Radiance Perfection Serum. This is what it looks like. And this serum, let's see, are you seeing that? This serum I use during the day, after I wash and if I'm exfoliating, which I normally don't do during the day. Yeah, so I wash, I tone my skin, and then I put, I apply the serum. So this one you actually can use both day and night, but I have a different serum that I'm using at night. So this guy, it's called Radiance, and I feel like that's exactly what it's doing for my skin. I just feel like, even like initially after the first time I use this, I just feel like my skin is brighter, it's clearer, it has hyaluronic acid in here too, so it definitely like plumps up your skin, it helps hydrate it. Um, this has helped me with any like hyperpigmentation that I've had on my skin, or any like scars left behind by um, breakouts or sunspots. And this has also helped with any breakouts that I had. Um, I don't really, there's no ingredients on the actual bottle, just on the packaging, so I can't tell you what exactly is helping. 
but this stuff is great i love it it's a little bit pricey but a little 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 bit goes a long way so it's great love it next product is from mac and it's the cleanse off oil looks like this so i got the travel size just because i wanted to try it out i was using a cleansing balm from Lush to take off my makeup and then I recently finished that and then I got on recommendation on suggestion I got the Clinique take the day off cleansing balm which honestly I really didn't like I know a lot of people like it but it just didn't do what I needed it to do it wasn't really good at taking off waterproof mascara and waterproof liner and like a lot of stuff I, that I wear is long lasting like that's what I look for in my makeup so it is a little bit difficult to take off, but I mean, that's what I look for in a makeup remover, that it could take off all those things. So the Clinique Take the Day Off didn't work for me, so I ended up returning it, but then I needed something else that was going to help take off my makeup. And that is this stuff. Man, this stuff is amazing. I'm 100% going to be purchasing it in full size. It is a cleanse off oil. Um, I apply it first dry to my eyes my face and then when i add the water to it to take everything off it turns into like this milky consistency which is really nice it is non-irritating to your eyes which is great and it doesn't clog my pores um i haven't broken out from it even though like i was a little bit nervous about using this product but i love it love it love it this is going to be my favorite i mean it is my favorite makeup remover until i find something else that i like better but so far i love it and i'm gonna be purchasing this in a bigger size once i'm done and last but not least i want really wanted to keep this video short um is my nighttime moisturizer and it is from kate somerville this is what it looks like it is the goat milk facial moisturizer and this one is for dry and sensitive skin which I do not have I have oily skin combination sometimes dry but not enough I guess to get this like a moisturizer straight for dry sensitive skin and I actually picked this up because I saw it on Caroline Heron's blog I think she called it one of her holy grail products one of her holy grail products and it's like a gel cream consistency which I really like the packaging is really cool too it has like this little pump that you push down and like the right amount of cream comes out so it's perfect you're not wasting anything you're not putting on too much so I use this guy at night just because I feel like I needed some extra hydration from my skincare routine because I have been using everything for my skincare for my skin type which is combination oily but a lot of the products are drying since I switched over to this new routine from Ren which maybe I'll do a video about that another time my skin has been really feeling good it feels hydrated it doesn't feel too oily I'm not like touching my forehead in the middle of the day and like wiping off uh, wiping off a ton of oil which is nice i only have to blot once a day which i really love so it's all about your skincare and it just shows how important the products are that you're using and what you're putting on your skin so this guy back to this guy um has helped with hydration number one it's helped with pigmentation it's helped with um Surprisingly, it's helped with breakouts, which I kind of expected, but I wasn't like, I didn't have great expectations in it helping with the breakouts because I just didn't see how, but it did help with breakouts. It, again, this product is a little bit pricey. I just use it at night, so I'm hoping that it lasts me a really long time. But I am very, 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 very curious to try more of Kate Somerville's products. There is um, an oil-free moisturizer that I'm thinking that I want to try for during the day. So if anybody has tried it and they like it or they didn't like it or you have any opinions, just 
please post in the comments below. And yeah, that's it for my October favorites. I will probably have more makeup in my next favorites because I have been doing some shopping and have been doing some, been having some major haulage. So I think there's gonna be some more like makeup and other stuff in my next favorites video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And please remember to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. And see you in my next video. Bye, guys.